Army Assault is by far one of my favorite activities within War and Order and in today's video War and Order challenged me to defeat the hardest levels. Before we dive into the challenge, each Army Assault map has three levels. An easy level, a hard level and the nightmare level. We are clearly equipped for the nightmare level. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, it's clear we are not. I asked myself how I can beat these levels. I searched the whole web, spoke to friends, and I even called the War and Order hotline to finally come to the conclusion that I have to raise my army strength. And that's exactly what I did. So let's try this again. Time counter was nerve wracking and I was ready to attack my enemy. On this specific level you are trying to capture all the buildings with flags above it. And if you get three specific flag buildings you win the level. It's far from easy because you have constantly enemies spamming your other buildings to be constantly on the lookout to where your enemy is marching. I do love this game mechanic though. It has no dull moment and you're constantly fighting and thinking about what building you should take next. Plus you get some pretty awesome rewards for completing these levels. Specific level I chose for the bottom buildings first simply because I didn't want more enemies spamming from there. After that I mostly tried to get the other buildings on the top of the map push my enemy in a corner. Enemy however was persistent and kept murdering my army. I had to send more troops constantly to the top north building. But winning was inevitable. At one point I got a lot of troops in one building and I knew the game would be over rather quickly. I took the middle building so the enemy had more march time to reach one of their own buildings. And I was also planning my final attack to the last castle with a flag on it. And I could smell victory already. I knew the final push would be difficult. So I used every single one of my army to launch one final attack on the last castle. Apparently there weren't many troops inside so that's how we won our first level. For the next level the game recommends us an army strength of level 73 but we have an army strength of level 84 so I guess we will be fine. As the timer started counting I went all out on the first building. I wanted to build a very high troop count in the first building because that level 100 tower looks very juicy. I I refused however to completely waste my army on this tower so I waited for my enemy to start attacking it. Yes that's exactly the kind of person I am. Let someone else do the dirty work for you. After waiting for like two minutes the enemy still hadn't attacked the middle building and not gonna lie I got a little bit annoyed. My persistence was stronger than my annoyance and as a real stubborn Belgian I kept filling up my other building. In the meantime it got stronger than a Nokia 3310 which we all know are insanely strong. Finally the enemy decided to start attacking the main middle building and I would accept their dirty work gratefully. The time was here and I sent a main army of 84 troops straight at the middle building and the enemy knew they messed up. A complete all out war broke out and I knew it would be just moments before I would take every other single building. I finished off the map as a true conqueror of lands and even though the enemy tried their hardest to take the buildings back they never even got close. My tower of doom killed most of the army that went to my buildings and I applauded myself for the great amount of strategy that I pulled in this game. This is by far my best play ever in War and Order so I did the most logical thing anyone would do and I texted my mom celebrating this achievement. She was obviously very proud of me but I didn't have the time to keep continuing the conversation because we had to finish off the final levels. All these distractions the enemy nearly got my tower of doom back but I quickly sent more troops to it and after that I never really gave it away and we won the match comfortably. If you haven't downloaded War and Order just yet I would highly recommend you to do so. Just
do it the game is available on ios and android and you can find the link in the description of this video you can come find me in realm 1564 and you can grow strong together with me the developers of war and order have provided us with a special gift code which gives you a lot of additional materials make sure to use the code jump at the exchange gift tab for a lot of free materials thanks for watching guys if you enjoy the video slap like and i'll see you for a next war and order video sometime soon bye